what's up guys how are you doing i hope you're great welcome to this tutorial where i am going to give you a basic introduction to python programming i will cover variable declaration in python i'm going to cover arithmetic operation that is addition subtraction multiplication and division and then lastly i'll cover printing in python so python is a very very nice and simple programming language actually it may take you less than a week to learn python for sure you don't need to stress you don't need to write a lot you just write one line of code and then you move on so if you want to declare any variable within python let us say you want to declare an integer x you write x equals to two as simple as that you don't need to write to declare the variable let us say you don't need to write integer x no you just write x is equal to 2 and then you don't need to do what to terminate in python we don't terminate you just write x is equal to 2 write y is equal to 4 and then you can even write z is equal to 10 and then you move on even if it is a float you just write y is equal to 0 0.0 and then 4 will be equal to 4.5 and then z will be equal to 10.2 something like that and then you move on yeah actually python is very very simple let us say you if you are doing search in c plus plus you need to declare the variable and then you also need to do what to terminate at the end of the variable but thanks to python you just declare the variable and then move on and then use it more and more and more in your program yeah so let's try to write a program that is going to add two numbers then I'm going to add two numbers x will be equal to 2 and then y will be equal to what to 5 so if i want to add these two numbers i just say x plus y and then i run that and then it will give me 7. if i want to subtract those two numbers i write x minus y and then that is negative 3. If I want to divide them, I'll say x over y, and then it will give me 0 0.4. And then if I want to multiply them, I'll say x times y, and then it will give me 10, which is 2 times 5, which is 10. Yeah. However, I may want to create another variable to store this value. So to do that, let me say the variable is f. Oh, no, no, let me use k. So I write k equals x times y. And then to access this value, I write here k. And then I run, which will be 10. Actually, you may even go and write a Python function that can be able to do for you the addition, the subtraction, and the multiplication. Yeah. So let us go to printing a statement in Python. For example, I have added these two numbers, which is x plus y, and then I've called it k. If I want to print this k in Python, I use the print function. So whenever I want to print or display something on your screen, you use this print function. So let me show you how you do that. You write print. And then, so for example, I want to print this variable k. I just put it here, and I print k, which is 10. So just imagine I want to print x, I write print my variable x, and then I print x is 2. Yeah. As you can see, Python is very easy. It is very simple and straightforward. You don't need to struggle and then stress a lot. What if I want to print a string? Let me show you how to print a string. So a string is a letter representation, or a string is just a word. So let us say I write my name, my name, my name is what, is Jesse. So this is how we write strings in Python. So this is a string, Jesse is a string. So I use those upper quotations and then I write my string. Actually, you can even use the double quotes or the single quotes. So let me declare my other name my other name my other name i will use the single quotes my other name is Uyungo. yeah then i run that so if i want to print my name 
I just say print and then I say my name that is Jesse and then if I want to print my other name I say print my name and then my other name yeah as simple as that so what happens if I want to print both of my names and then I write the same I use the same print function and then I'll be able to print both my names so to do that I write print and then I put the first variable, which is my name. This is my first variable, my name. And then I use a comma, and then I'll print the other variable, which is my other name. And then I run that. And then as you can see, my full name is printed here. I have put the first variable and then separated it by a comma. I hope that is fine, yeah. And then I'm going to take it a little bit higher and then I'm going to introduce in strings so that we can be able to print a variable or something without having to declare it before. I hope that is fine. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to first show you how you can print a string directly without having to declare the what? The variable. So to print a string, you just write print and then you input your string, which is Jesse then you run it and then you've printed your name i hope that is fine yeah i hope that is fine so if i want also to print my other name i'll use a comma and then i write my other name which is buyungo and then i run it and then that is jesse buyungo i hope that is fine yeah so what if i want to combine variables that are declared and then the variables have not declared how do i do that it is very simple you just write print yeah so it is very simple you first write print and then your string use a comma remember this string is not declared so i write it as a string and then use your comma and then you you, you you also input your declared variables so that is my name and then my other name and then i can also add another one and then i say from okay let me say comma from uganda and then i run that so my name is jesse buyungo comma you see this comma and then from Uganda. Yeah. So for today, let me just stop here, but check out my next story. I'll cover more and more and more and more interesting stuff. Thank you for watching this tutorial.